tell us how many people meet here, 10,000 people from hundreds and different countries. It's, uh, it's, it's always great coming to events like this and seeing, uh, you know, the diversity of startups from around the world. So, uh, you know, I find it inspiring. I think, um, I think you know, when you meet uh, startups from, you know, all over Europe and the greater Middle East, it's, uh, it's interesting because you, you learn about local, local problems that they're trying to solve and challenges that they have. So, yeah, that's fun. What would you recommend for Webit? What I recommend for Webit? Um, you know, uh, to, to be honest, I think uh, if, if there was a way to create more awareness outside the region about, say, the greater Middle East, I think that would be really cool. Because there, there are, um, you know, put, putting Turkey aside, you know, there, there's a lot of activity happening in places like Egypt and, uh, you know, and, and being able to sort of educate the, the public on that by bringing in more startups from those areas and then also bringing in more startups from Europe. I think, you know, more of the same is a good thing. What would I expect to see at Webit next year? <laughs> uh, I, I don't really know how to answer that. Um, you know, so, so far I'm pretty impressed. The venue is beautiful. Uh, you know, the event has gone fairly smoothly. So, um, you know, I, I can't wait to see next year. If it's going to be better than this, it'll be great. Thanks.